Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how a rear defogger works on a car. This will be a simple explanation, so let's get right to it. As you can see, this is actually the rear of the car. And what happens is when your rear windshield gets fogged up or frosted over, when there's snow on it, ice on it, or when it gets fogged up, you can actually activate your rear defogger, also known as your rear defroster, and that's going to either melt off the snow and ice, or it will defog the window. So here's how it works. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see this. I know that there's a little bit of a glare, but if you take a look here with the baby on board sign, you can see right here, there are actually these lines, and in real life it'll be easier to see these but on the video it's a little difficult we're gonna wipe off some of the uh, the, the dirt we should actually go for a car wash um, after this anyways there are these lines on the rear windshield okay now these lines right here are actually on the inside okay so these lines right here you see them there's actually electrical current that goes through these lines so let's head into the car and I'll give you a little bit of a better explanation if I go in the car right now you can see that on the front of the car, there are ducts, okay? So there's actually a really long duct over there, and when you turn on your air, it's going to defog and defrost the front windshield through the air, okay? But with the rear of the car, there are no ducts. So if I look at the rear of the car, if you take a look back there, hopefully, hey, there I am, hopefully you can see there are no ducts. There's my rear windshield, there's no duct work back there. Okay, so what happens is this, okay, I'll, sh I'll show you exactly how it works. On your car, somewhere, there's going to be a rear defroster button. Now, in this car, it's actually a rear defroster along with the side mirrors. So, if you push it, just like that, it's going to illuminate. Now, what happens is, through the electrical system, it actually sends electrical current all the way back here to these lines on the rear windshield so now that i push that button electrical current is flowing through these lines now it is a small small electrical current not a big electrical electrical current it's just a small one it's just enough to heat them up enough um, to actually melt any ice or snow on the rear windshield and also defog the rear windshield so it, does, it serves two purposes it either defogs it if it's fogged up and it melts it and what you'll notice is if there's a big sheet of ice or snow on here and you turn it on you're going to notice that it's starting it's going to start to melt on the lines and then it's going to go ahead and continue over so you're going to start to notice that it'll just melt where the lines are and just defog where the lines are eventually it makes its way to the whole windshield um rear windshield now it, it's not the actual electricity uh, that causes the heat, but it's uh, the reaction of the, electric of the electricity on the windshield. So it's a little bit of a complicated explanation, but basically it sends electrical current to these lines and then the reaction of that electricity on the windshield causes that heat. That's basically it in a nutshell. That is how the rear defogger works in a car. Basically you're using electricity to create a reaction uh, amongst the rear window, which heats it up enough Enough to either defog or defrost the rear windshield and if you leave it on long enough then what happens is it'll you know defog or defrost the whole thing it'll just start with the lines then it makes its way to the whole thing and you basically just turn it on with a button over here in the car another fun little fact in most cars it will automatically shut off the rear defogger or defroster after a certain amount of time because uh you know if it stays on for too long you do run the risk of uh, the rear windshield shattering and that's happened many times where you leave it on for too long and the rear windshield shatters um but i'll do a whole other video on that and why that happens that actually happened to a cousin of mine if you're watching this you know who you are um but uh that can happen so it in most models Modern cars it will automatically turn off after a certain um, a num certain number of minutes and that's it if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching